One of the soybean questions we get every year from many farmers around the country and really around the world is, hey guys, should I add more nitrogen to my soybean crop? Would that help my yield? Well, that's kind of a challenging question. So today we want to talk a little about soybean nodulation and the possibility of adding more nitrogen to increase yield. When it comes to soybean yields, no doubt nitrogen is a big component in that. And the good thing about soybeans is they can produce a lot of their own nitrogen through nodulation. Now with nodulation, we want to maximize that because it's a whole lot cheaper and efficient to have the soybeans produce the nitrogen than to have to go buy it and apply it to the field. So when we think about nodulation, there's a few factors here that are going to be really important. One is going to be just overall soil health. If you've got poor drainage, if you've got uh, other issues out there that are hurting the microbes in your soil, they're going to hurt this rhizobia bacteria that's going to help you with nodulation. So soil health is a big factor. Nutrient balance is another one, and even some of the micronutrients like molybdenum. You'll probably see and hear a number of products throughout the season that say, well, we've got some molybdenum in the product, whether it's a seed treatment or a foliar application or, a, or an in furrow application, and that's going to help you produce more nodules. Well, it may or may not. Again, we're gonna to need to see a soil test to see if that's necessary. Speaking of which, on that molybdenum, what we're looking for is one part per million. That's it, you don't need much, just a little bit. But test your soil, just even take one soil test somewhere on your farm and see if you've got molybdenum. We started doing some of that and realized we had none, we couldn't find any. <laughs> okay, well, then there's a real good chance molybdenum could pay for you on your farm. All right, the other thing that a lot of people will take into account when it comes to nodulation and, and predicting how well your soybeans are gonna nodulate is what's the crop rotation? Hey, if I'm in a corn and soybean rotation, I just had beans out there a couple years ago, there should be plenty of those rhizobia bacteria left and, and I'll be fine. Well, you know what? There will be some, very likely, if you haven't been flooding out or something like that in your field, there'll probably be some rhizobia bacteria, but will you really maximize nitrogen production? No way. Uh, down in Brazil, I've been down to Brazil a couple of different times where guys are raising continuous soybeans and there are plenty of farmers that we work with in the United States for one reason or another that are raising continuous soybeans and almost to the man. They say, man, nodulation is a big deal for me. I have to put on inoculant. It's so cheap. I get not only more nitrogen for this year's soybean crop, I leave more nitrogen for next year as well. So it is important that we get those nodules maximized in your soybean crop to get the most yield. All right, so we talk about this nodulation thing. Yep, that's great. But will adding more nitrogen, if you apply nitrogen, will that help your soybean yield? Here's usually what we'll tell you. If you've been raising soybeans every other year for many years, the odds that adding a bunch of nitrogen, the odds that that'll pay, are really pretty slim. Here are the couple conditions where we'll tell you that yes, adding more nitrogen will pay. Number one, if you have bad soil conditions, you've been flooded out recently, you have really high pH or terribly low pH, you just have unhealthy soil, poor drainage, any of those kind of things. Another reason why you may consider using some more nitrogen is if you're at really high yield levels. Let's say you're already at 90 or 100 bushels and you're trying to get to 120. Okay, chances are you're gonna need some additional nitrogen. And then the third thing I always look at is, how much organic matter do I have in the soil? Understand that in soil, organic matter releases for free a whole bunch of nitrogen every year. And this comes with heat. It really comes late in the season. So think about when soybeans need their nitrogen, it's late in the season. So it's awesome if let's say you had five or 6% organic matter, you can figure 20 to 30 pounds per each percent of organic matter. So that's a crazy amount, 100, 150 pounds, you could get just out of your soil for free. If you've got high organic matter levels, the odds that adding more nitrogen will pay, the odds are really, really slim. One thing that I like to look at on soybean plants throughout the growing season, I like to dig them up, look at that root system, and I, I may be looking for soybean cyst nematodes, but I'm also looking at the nodules. And here's one little trick you may have heard about before. When you look at those nodules, just split a few of them open and look at what color they are inside. If they're kind of a reddish color, well, they're actively producing nitrogen for your crop. If they're a green or a brown color inside, well then those nodules are dead and they're really not producing for you. So do take a look at your nodules throughout the season and do what you can fertility wise, soil health wise, to really maximize your soybean plant's ability to produce its own nitrogen. Well, if you want higher yields, yes, nitrogen content in soybeans is tremendously important, but so is weed control. 
We'll talk about how to control this tough weed coming up next. <music>